Hey my beautiful people and welcome back to my channel, Supreme Medium Diviner. It's your favorite voodoo queen, Tammy and Medium. Yes, I do voodoo. Yes, I talk to the dead. So, what's today's topic? Hexes. Hexes. Have you been hexed? You want to know how someone hexes you? You want to know why they hex you? This is what this video is referring to today, okay? But before we jump into it, I want you to subscribe to me. I really want you to subscribe to my channel. Once you subscribe to my channel, please hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I drop a video. Also, if you find this interesting, you think somebody else is going to find it interesting, please go ahead and share the video, okay? Also, please comment. I love to hear your thoughts. I like for us to converse on things. Give me your expertise, okay? So let's go ahead and jump right into it. What is a hex? A hex is when somebody casts a spell on you, they have bewitched you, okay? Why would somebody cast a spell on you? Duh, they don't want you to elevate. You may have done something to them. They just don't want you to be better than them. They just don't like you, okay? They just like casting spells and you're the lucky person, okay? No rhyme or reason, but sometimes there is a rhyme or reason. So that being said, be careful how you treat people. But anywho, basically, um, it's a wish. It's a wish that something happens to you, but not for your good okay and typically somebody when they place a hex on you they use things to help them place this hex so some of the things that they're going to use um it can be the universe bodily fluid when i say the universe um dirt the sun rain things of the weather anything that can be found in the universe that's going to be natural they're using natural forces to place this hex on you okay they can also do supernatural forces the supernatural forces are going to be spirits ancestors a god a deity a daemon um things of that nature okay that they can use to place this hex on you to be with you to place this spell on you and they're going to do this they're going to use these things and incorporate these things into what we call magic okay and if it's going to be like bad that's typically called red magic not black magic black magic is a westernized term it's actually red magic in voodoo okay so basically when they do this when they combine these um supernatural or natural powers with magic with elements they're going to do a ritual they're going to create a ritual to place this hex on you okay so with that being said if they're using a ritual to place the hex on you guess what you got to do to break the hex to dispel the hex a ritual okay so you also have to do a ritual to dispel the hex okay so hexes hexes can date back to the beginning of time okay like i tried to look up a specific date there's no specific date so beginning of time okay so we have it during the egyptian time um, there's hexes listed in the Bible and even each ethnical group, there are going to be hexes in each culture. There are hexes dated. There were so many, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to go and look, but in each culture, there are hexes that you can, uh, go back and research and that have dates on them as well. Okay. So what causes the hex? Like. How can the hex be placed on you other than casting the magic, the spell? So it can be done by an individual. It also can be done by generational curses. And guess what? You can also put a hex on yourself. Mm -hmm. You can put on a hex on yourself without knowing you're putting a hex on yourself. So let me just give you my personal experience with my clients. I say about... 7 out of 10, the hex is placed on them by them. And I kid you not. How do I know that? Because I have a ritual that I do to look into them to see if they've been cursed, if they've been hexed. And I do this through astral travel. And this allows me to see their past, their present, and future. And 7 of those times where I've done this with clients, this has come from decisions that they have made, decisions that they are going to make, or things that they're currently into right now, okay? So, when it comes to an individual being hexed by their own decisions or their past, what's going to dispel that is changes. You have to make changes, but I'm not going to lie to y'all. That is the hardest one 
to get off of somebody. That is the hardest one because I'm going to tell you, most of them do not listen to me. They do not listen to me at all. Even though I'm telling them facts, this is not intuitive. I'm giving them facts because I'm going back to them confirming everything I see. And these are facts, things that have happened, things that will happen or come to pass. And they choose not to make the change and they continue to be in this miserable state of their life. So, if you didn't know that you can hex yourself, now you know. Now, let's talk about the one where it comes from generational curses. I have had clients who, to no fault of their own, haven't done anything to anybody. But because of things in the past, because of the things that their family have been involved in, it has now trickled down to them okay so i have to work with them to remove them from the that individual not from the family not from the family but from the individual okay so when somebody just you know somebody places a hex on you and it's not like you know a generational curse they just put one on you um that one can be removed by you know the same thing a ritual and typically they do not come back they do not come back um i will go ahead and tell you that when individuals do these things, when the individual dies, that does not remove the hex. Okay, so someone dying doesn't remove the hex at all. So say if you even put it on yourself, that's still going to be in your aura when you die. So if you have another life, you're going to carry these things with you. Okay, and they also can turn into generational as well. So that's pretty much the ins and outs of uh, hexes um, I'll do another video talking about ways that we can um, dispel the hex with the um, ritual and things of that nature but I feel like that people actually need to know um, about hexes and how they can get on them and they need to be aware oh let me just tell you what the symptoms look like um, you have financial problems um, you have mental blockages um, you can't seem to um, be around people the number one thing is there's an odor to you when you have a hex and this typically comes from when someone an individual has done this just like one-on-one -on -one. there's an odor to you um like a stench that keeps people away from you now you don't physically smell but it is an odor just that like stops people from gravitating towards you so you can't form relationships you can't have friendships things of that nature it just nothing ever seems to go right when it comes to that because there's a stench that is placed on you um even if you are an educated person and you're not you know a person who procrastinates and things of that nature you find it so hard to have a focal point to focus on your life to get things together um those are the similarities that i have found with people who have been hexed no matter what they do they can't seem to put things together and make things come together for them. So I will tell you this. Um, when the hex is removed, there's also another step that you have to do to elevate yourself to a higher frequency. You've been vibrating so low that you have to elevate to a higher frequency. And typically that's going to take like a spiritual bath. That's going to be consistent. Um, you're going to have to be consistent with like meditation and like just healing yourself. And here's the thing. You have to get used to feeling good. Okay. So I have seen people who have been hexed for over 20 years and they just go at this way of living. All right. And once it's removed, the clients that I have, they have to get used to feeling good. They have to get used to feeling good. But all in all, hexes definitely can be removed. You just have to get down to the root of it, the who, the what, the why. And once you can do that, remove it. And let me tell you this. Beware of practitioners. I get a lot of people that come to me. Practitioners say, oh, you have this on you, this and this, that. But they can't tell you what. They can't tell you what's going to happen. They can't give you, like, details. So, if somebody tells you that something is on you and they have not looked into you, when I mean look into you, I mean look into your spirit, side-eye them, question them, ask questions, okay? Just don't take their word for it. Now, I'm not saying they can't sense that something is on you, but they should be able to give you details, and that takes extensive work with you, okay? Like going to your spirit, examining your spirit, okay? That's not something, details, you can't really get details by just looking at someone, 
they can sense it, but they have to go to you spirit to spirit to kind of see the ins and outs of this hex and what's on you. So please beware of that. So I hope that this video is very informative. I will do another video talking about the rituals that can be used to dispel curses depending on what the curse is. So please be on the lookout for that video. And again, um, go ahead and subscribe to me and I will see you guys next time.